My brother Bobby, who was the lead singer of Switch, he, um, his concept was DeBarge. He wanted to um, start the family group, but he had to uh, sort of uh, do it his own way at first. He had a couple of uh, friends that he grew up with, and they formed the group Switch. And he'd always promised that he was going to come back and get his little brothers and uh, yeah. and uh, teach us the ropes under the name DeBarge. He taught me everything I know. I was the lead singer, the folk point. And uh, Bobby DeBarge of Switch started us off and introduced yeah. us to Jermaine Jackson. That's how DeBarge got their start. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. If you don't know enough about Switch, they had songs like I Call Your Name, They'll Never Be. I mean, the list goes on. They had uh, about six or seven albums on Motown Records. But uh, man, I mean, tell me what type of influence Bobby had in your career, because we all know he was one of the, probably one of the greatest singers of our time. But uh, oh. tell me what type of influence he had on your career, especially. Bobby had a tremendous, impeccable influence on my, on my life, period. Uh, my life consists of career, my life consists of uh, emotion, my life consists of ups and downs and failures and victories. And uh, Bobby played an important part in every aspect of my life. He, he critiqued me as an entertainer, as a songwriter. He made sure that I was always at my best. He never let me settle for less. So I owe a lot to him. Guess what? I 
need alcohol baby but lord have mercy baby sis you've been my greatest joy baby since you come into my life you made me such a happy boy yeah i feel like a brand new baby boy baby because can we just for a moment y'all just wave hands together just like they used to do way back in woodstock y'all know what i'm talking about yeah you know back in the good old days when when we was fighting for our freedom and nobody was ashamed to put their arms around each other because we all felt we needed each other back then, you know? Yeah, let's feel that love, baby. Yeah. And together, let's sing this one out to my brother Bobby. May he rest in peace. Bobby, we sing this song for you, baby. The original lead singer. I think Bobby was saying something like this. I was growing up back in 79, 78, Switch was a big part of my life. But you know, in concert, you performed the songs, the hits of Switch. I mean, what's that like for you up on stage? I mean, is that a tribute? Is that a big thrill for you to be, you know, singing songs that your brother Bobby sang? You know, because it it basically we're not going to hear the switch sound like that anymore. I mean, you know, I don't know if a lot of people uh, know this, but Bobby DeBarge, he was, of course, the leader of switch. He passed away last year. And of course, a lot of us will miss him. He is one of the best singers, legendary singers of our time and will be. And you'll probably acknowledge that as time goes on. But tell me about that, man. I mean, doing that up on stage, because I got to admit, I like it. I love hearing it, man. Bobby DeBarge was uh, more important than he himself even thought he was too. When he when Bobby passed away, I know for a fact that he he didn't know how how special he was to the world. Uh, we could never really get him to recognize how much he meant uh, to the world. He was just he just loved what he was doing, but for some reason he never thought that uh, he was really appreciated. And he was so much appreciated. Oh, most definitely. Um, uh, it's just an honor for me to do the switch songs on stage. It's kind of hard right. sometimes because I get a little emotional. I know it touches you, right? And, you know, I know you saw me get oh, emotional yeah. tonight, but uh, I have to do it because he's a part of my musical heritage. And he's my own flesh and blood, and he he meant a lot to a lot of people out there. And it would be an insult to to, to people, to the whole music industry, for us to do a concert and not commemorate him. 
Exactly. You know, he means a lot to a lot of people. So you guys had a big uh, thing happening back in your hometown, right, where you guys commemorated him yeah, uh, as we, an anniversary, Yeah, we did a tribute right? concert for Bobby um, um, almost a year after he died. We went back to Michigan, and we had so many people on stage. We had like 900 bass wow. players. You know, and did all the songs just switch? 900 drummers and right. keyboard players because everybody that Bobby grew up with was from Michigan, and right. everybody wanted to play. Cousins that, <laughs> that played, and, and you know, the uh, people he worked with in school that played with him in his little uh, high school bands. Everybody was right. on stage, everybody, including the family. We just had like choirs of voices. It was it was a great tribute to him. You know, L, I understand that there's some material from Bobby that was never released, right? Never released, Stuff yeah. That that you know the public has never heard. Will we yeah. ever hear? Yeah, that? we got we got to get it. We got to get it. Um, it's in in Motown's archives. Um, you know, it gets political. It gets hard to get. But I right. tell you what, I know it. He showed them to me. If I can't get the tapes, I'll do them again myself. Uh -huh.